guys welcome back to my space how have you been hope everything has been going well so today we are going to be talking about the very interesting almighty mm. self-love yes what is self-love what really is this self-love that everybody is talking about um what do i really need to practice self-love how do i what exactly is this topic this is a very important topic especially in our daily society in our present society where there's a lot of demand a lot of pressure a lot of misconceptions about what self-love is and what it isn't so we're just going to be having a brief discussion so if this is your first time seeing my face hello 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 nice to see you and welcome to my space so on this page we talk about women development empowerment growth um career physical growth career growth personal development financial development and everything that you want to know about in your journey as a woman motherhood family parenting relationship every single thing that makes us who we are of course i know you are interested so please stay tuned and do not forget to like subscribe and hit on the notification button so that you would not miss any of our content so yes let's get into the topic so this topic i really don't think i can exhaust this in this video so I, I might just have to make it into a series so let's get right into the video first of all what is self-love self-love is appreciating yourself um you know getting to know that oh yeah this is who you are knowing yourself appreciating yourself having um self-worth um and understanding that you what is you have your value yes you should be heard you are human you are something you are existing so that's what self-love is the ability to appreciate your existence your your um strengths your weaknesses and make the most out of yourself yes that is the my own explanation of what self-love is yeah uh, it's not really streamlined to just physical characteristics or just you know um a few shallow things it's really really deep so self-love have to do with our physical life our spiritual life our emotional life everything that concerns you so yes in our society today a lot of people want to tell you how to you know eat your food tell you how to wear your clothes tell you how to you know live your life tell you how you should talk tell you uh, make you feel less of who you are make you want to you know settle for less a whole lot of negative pressure and negative energy is out there so it is very important that we maintain understand and maintain self-love in our daily lives so how can we practice self-love how can we practice self-love first of all the major the basic the very important almighty tip point bullet point anything you want to call it is self-care you cannot say you love yourself and you do not take care of yourself. You cannot say you love yourself and you just, you know, rallying around, doing every other thing um, for people, especially those of us that are new moms. You run around to take care of your husband. You run around to take care of your baby. You run around to take care of everybody except yourself. I understand there are, um, you have, we have responsibilities. I understand that we have priorities, but you should be your first priority. Even the Bible say, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So you, you is the love you have for yourself that you're going to transfer to your neighbor. So the first way, the first way we're going to, you know, practice self-love is by self-care. Physically take care of yourself. Get your hair together. Get your skin in order. Have your regular daily, but it doesn't have to be expensive things. It just has to be so in your doing out of joy out of the fact that this is me i need to take care of myself within your means even if it's a ponytail make it neat or you know good put it in order don't leave yourself just there oh this is just me i'm going through a lot you're going through a lot self-care has a lot to do with improving 
your mood and you know your mental health so the major thing the first thing that we should never ever forget when we're talking about self-love is self-care you cannot love yourself and not care for yourself please pay attention to your hair as ladies um a lot our hair speaks a lot about us and it also gives you a lot of confidence when your hair is in order take um good care of your face most uh, most ladies would have maybe some challenges maybe acne or it doesn't make you less of who you are still show up and look good and take care of those things find ways they don't have to be very expensive you could start by natural remedies you could just ask google what can i do about this you could just ask research and just start taking care of yourself your hair your face make sure that you get your um underarms and your underneath um areas neatly shaved for your own self not just because you want to do anything and you want to go and see anybody for your own self for the fact that you need to you want it you deserve to be taken care of and we do not expect other people to take care of you when you don't even take care of yourself get your head together get your face together get some lotions for your skin don't just look so dry moisturize your body take care of yourself then get your size of inner ways get good um clothing inner clothing to, to put on if you don't know your size everything is there on youtube these days they will show you just get a video you will see how to measure your size get good quality inner wears for yourself get enough inner wears that you do not have to um repeat any and make sure you wash them per single use this is the beginning of the definition of self-love most times everybody goes oh self-love i love myself so you cannot tell me what to do no self-love is not taking not taking corrections self-love is not always about what others are saying or what others are doing first of all it starts from what you're doing for yourself how are you putting yourself together how are you taking care of this your body how are you taking care of your spirit what are you doing to grow are you reading books are you even making researches or are you just there you know if you love yourself like for example if you buy a new car you want to wash the car you want to make sure the car is clean you want to put some air freshener in the car you want to make sure you um your seat belt sign order your brake sign order you want to just make sure that everything is you know okay if you have a, a whatever you have that you love the way you treat it the way you pamper it that is the way you should carry yourself you take care of yourself first you show yourself your value first then everybody would be able to exude that light that you're showing us you don't want you don't want to stress yourself demanding for self-love from other people demanding from love for other people when you do not even love yourself so take care of yourself it's right i mean it's food that is healthy cook up something nice and eat take healthy drinks stay hydrated make sure you have your bath every day at least twice a day when it's hot when it's summer make sure that you are eating the right things you're putting on the right clothes make sure that <clears throat> whatever you're putting on is breathable you know learn how to match your colors learn how to look good for your own self just for the fact that oh this is me i have to take care of myself not for any other person so the first thing i want you to take away from this video is if i love myself i can i'm going to take care of myself you do not have any excuse no matter the chores you're doing i usually say this if you know you're going to have a very busy day start with yourself first get into the shower have a shower no matter what the chores are don't give me the excuse of i'm going to the kitchen i'm doing this i want to do them before i shower no you first go do your facials um moisturize your face get your face washed get into the shower get get a bath get a change of clothes lift your spirits you know if you're christian pray get yourself ready to start the day before you begin your busy day you cannot put yourself last and say i'm busy i have a lot to do when i'm done i'll go and pay it no that is that is really not as this is one tip one very helpful tip that being a new mom taught me because you are busy around the clock baby can cry around the clock if you're not careful you wouldn't even have one hour to yourself so when once um is early in the morning when baby is still sleeping i wake up i do me so do you first what do i want you to take out of this video 
do you first if you have 1000 things in it to do in a day please start from you so we're going to be continuing this i don't want to just make it one long video that um people will end up not learning everything so we're going to be taking it bit by bit today we've talked about self-care though we've not exhausted it but at least we've we've shared a little light so we're going to keep talking about a lot of things about self-love we're going to be talking about um um setting boundaries you're going to be um talking about a lot of things we're going to be talking about a lot of things uh you do not want to miss this series so um just make sure that you're taking this home today that i am okay i i deserve to be taken care of by me this i deserve to be taken care of you know um slang it is not just for others it is for you take care of yourself if if you don't have good um um if there's anything that is not you know your hell wrong with your head please take care of yourself if you're diabetic please take your medication just using it as an example maybe your sides please take care of yourself no matter what you're doing no matter who you're taking care of you are the priority if you break down you cannot take care of yourself if you keep yourself um uncared for unkept there is no way someone else is going to, you know, appreciate you, give you value when you've not given yourself value. So on this series of self-love, first step, first foot forward is please take care of yourself and do you first. Till I see you very soon, very, very soon. Remember, do you first. Take care of yourself. Self-love is about you taking care of yourself first before others can join in. See you soon and have a nice day.